Man, uh, I was like a proud father out there. Pretty much. Uh, nah, but uh, you know he's showing his aggressive side, and uh, I loved it. I mean, you seen down there, he probably broke about 12 tackles and just kept on pushing, and then in the corner, left corner, just manhandling him, and went up top for the dunk and, and flushed it in. And, uh, I was really happy for him, and he's he's coming his own this fall camp, especially you know learning the the, um, the playbook and all that. And, He's, he's coming into his own, so I'm happy for him. Given that he's playing that wide spot, uh, how much have you personally worked with him? Just things he wants and everything. You know, he's in a he's in a different room, but I do still talk to him about it. Um, comes up to me for tips, or I, I come to him like, hey, you could do this on such and such play, and uh, you know, I mean, he's willing to work with me, I'm willing to work with him, and it's just, you know, big brother, little brother type thing. When he was breaking those tackles, did it remind you of that UCLA play you had last year? Uh, yeah, it, it was actually kind of, it was funny, uh, I got to watch somebody else do that, you know, uh, but I was just happy for him, and showing his aggression, and showing him that he's, uh, that, you know, he could play at this level. What's your impression been of uh, Manja? Man Jack, uh, that's my guy right there. Uh, also another little brother. I love him to death. Um, he, he showed me just, you know, great speed. He's a very smooth runner. Uh, he has great hands even though he, he doesn't wear gloves. Uh, but, you know, yeah, he, he, he's a really good, really good athlete. What do you think of his field flag? No field gloves. Swag? Yeah. I mean, me, myself, I don't really wear too much, so I'm totally fine with it. Just let his plays do the talking, and that's all that I care about. You took up the veteran leadership that Joe Jackson and Kyle Ford are going to win. Oh, yeah. You know, like I always say, our room is just full of brothers. It's a, it's a family. So we're all the big brothers now, which is it's kind of weird. You know, like I, in a blink of an eye, I'm, in, I'm a junior now, and all of us are juniors. Uh, but we've all taken the leadership role. Um, it's not kind of just on one person. It's kind of on all of us veterans to help the younger guys. So I think they've done a very, very good job of coming into that and doing that. Chris Steele was talking last week about how he noticed that you really honed in on very specific details that you tried to improve, and he singled out your hands especially. What, what did you do over the course of the offseason maybe to focus in specifically on your hands? Uh, you know, that's credit to Coach Steiner and the uh, strength staff. I mean, every workout is pretty much a, a grip workout, no matter if we're doing lunges and holding heavy dumbbells, uh, doing actual grip workouts. So, I mean, it's, it's credit to them and, their, uh, and to their strength staff and just helping us uh, with our hand strength, especially the receivers, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the leadership role, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, how is that going to help you guys and your confidence as captains and all the guys coming into the season? Uh, I think it's going to help us a, a lot, you know. It is new for all of us, and, uh, you know, we're just going to go out there, do our thing, and, and just handle it how the older guys before us, you know, like Michael Pittman and Amaral have handled it, and just go from there. KC is obviously your position coach, but what's your relationship like with uh, Coach Daigie? It's like you guys working out here. Uh, you know, uh, me and Daigie go back to freshman year. Um, you know, he's always helped me. He was the assistant wide receiver coach at the time when uh, I came in with KC. So we built a, a really, really great bond. And even though he's moved into the tight end, tight end room, we're still really, really tight. I go to, to him for like any anything I need on and off the field. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, that's my guy. Diggy's my guy. How hard was it for you to have to sit and, on the sideline for the for the scrimmage? I know you're a competitive guy. I know you would have liked to be out there. Yeah, I mean, they had to take my helmet at one point because <laughs> I almost went up and asked him, like, I got adrenaline in me, like, I could just go right now. But, you know, I just got to get right, and get healthy for the season, and, and that's all I'm really worried about right now. What sort of goals do you set for yourself coming into a season like this? You know, just go out there and, and win games and, and try to get to a championship. That, that's, that's the only goals that I really have in my mind right now. So. I know you mentioned, or we talked about the hands, but was there any other specific thing that you kind of honed in on, especially over the course of this summer? I just ultimately just changing my body into a football body, you know? Like, playing basketball, I end up losing a lot of weight, uh, getting lighter and stuff like that. So this offseason, I was able to maintain my weight, even put on more pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm much, much heavier than, than what paper says now. Um, and just getting stronger overall, faster. Like you said, grip strength, all of the above. Mm -hmm. How have those battles been with, with Chris? It seemed like over the course of camp, you guys have had some yeah. good one-on-one -on -one battles. You know, um, you know, it was gonna happen at some point. Me and him were gonna <laughs> we're gonna start chirping and go at each other's necks. But you know, we we both sat down together and then let each other know, like, look, we're gonna make each other great. Uh, I don't care how chippy it gets out there, or how 
uh, how our emotions are. We're just going to go out there and make each other better. I mean, it's practice at the end of the day. And in my eyes, I'm going against the best corner in my in my conference right now. And uh, he's just making me better. I'm making him better. And that's all I can ask for. Cool.